Hello, welcome back to Kaiser Cousin Dark Days Ahead. I think this is part 11. As you can probably see from the message log there, I've just been reading under the hood to get my uh, mechanic skill up to 2, which means I can take parts off vehicles. I'm going to cannibalize this truck. It has 6 trunks on it, which is unnecessary. So I'm going to remove some of these because I can use those frames for a better purpose. I can probably remove those as well. Eh, it's just more parts to get broken when I crash into things. I'll probably trash this at some point. Now, with the new encumbrance system, that would give me a backache <laughs> carrying that. And it's not so bad though, it's not that heavy. But yeah, I think rather than lug those around, I think I can at least drag it to the stairs using this shopping cart. See, I just moved all the stuff out of the trunks using this shopping cart. It's quite nice. Uh, what is it? That one. Same square. Right. Shopping carts. Move all the stuff into the shopping cart. I do love that menu. I really do. You can't drag these down the stairs. Yeah, I mean, that's probably as expected, really. Yeah, trying to get it back in there. Whoops. Pay attention. There we go. Just want it in that corner. No particular reason. <laughs> so, now I can just sort of drag them down the stairs one at a time. I suppose I'll have to drop my katana, yes. We can just drop them down here. And then use the inventory system to move them around, which is, well, it's pretty tedious, I suppose. <laughs> but this is all you have to do if you want to uh, do any kind of construction work. I mean, yeah. In the event of a zombie apocalypse, you would find yourself doing these things. You would. You'd find yourself lugging around like, oh, I mean, what are these always? 60 kilograms? Uh, no, not quite. I mean, yeah, 30 kilograms, sorry. Looking at the wrong thing. So, yes, now I actually do have to go and get a bunch of vehicle controls because I have the frames, I have the flashlights. But once I install headlights onto a frame, I actually need some controls to turn it on, so... Yeah. So, yeah, this is how you move them around. I, yeah, I just can't be bothered with that. We'll just suffer the strain, I think. So, drop that there. Uh, I... And where exactly is my katana? So not... It's underneath it, I guess. There we go. Pick it up. Well, wield it then. I'm not wielding anything else. Right, I could do with some... You don't have item K. Screw you! <laughs> you still got some really bad inventory bugs here. Yeah, let's go... Uh, let's go lampoon a squirrel. Or maybe a bear. Shall I go and kill a bear? Where is it? Ah, I see it. Mm, it's not wise, really. But it's fun. So let's just throw spikes at it. Headshots. 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 Pew, pew. Yeah. That's how OP I am right now. Alright, so I've got to watch out for that portal over there. Blimey, look at all those bones. Right, might as well take these fur pelts. I've been collecting a few of them. And, yeah, it's the problem with this game. It's not getting food, it's keeping it fresh. I think in the distant, or maybe even near future, but at some point in development, they do want to put in an electricity system with, uh, you know, like, generators and 
stuff like that, which I think would just be amazing. I would love to see what people come up with and you give them a system like that. Because, uh, yeah, I've already seen some of the bases that some people build in this game. It's just pretty remarkable, really. Fresh hot meat. Mmm. So, where do we... What? I mean, invalid direction. Let's drop that sinew, and I've got some fur there. Because, uh, yeah, I would like to make some fur things for the... for the winter, I suppose. And it's not that cold. I think it's going to be colder in the future. Again, that's another thing which is likely to happen. So, sorry if you were enjoying how easy the uh, winter is. Oh, it's uh, night time. Shall I just go anyway? Yeah, screw it. There's hardly any, if any, zombies on this side of town. Not now, spider, I'm busy. But yeah, winter is gonna get a bit of an overhaul in the future, I think. It's gonna be a lot colder, a lot harsher, less wildlife spawning. So yeah, it's going to be, you know, a little bit like Don't Starve, I suppose, if you've ever played that. The the whole of the first part of the game, essentially, is just preparing for winter. Like, if you don't get the warm clothes and a nice stockpile of food, then, yeah, you just die in the winter. And as it should be, I mean, winter is a harsh mistress. So, let's hope there's some controls on here somewhere. Broken controls, working controls. Let's remove those. And put them in my shopping cart. <laughs> I just, I love the shopping carts. Like, the best addition to this version of the game, I think, was the shopping carts. It's fantastic. <laughs> Right, let's just set up all right. So yeah, I want a good four or five of these. I uh, doubt that's going to have any, is it? No. Yeah, this uh, it doesn't work, does it? Okay. Uh, 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 see, normally I would take a seat as well. Because you can attach them as a bed on a frame. Well, I already have a bed, so that is unnecessary. Excuse me, got the hiccups. Do, 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 do. How many is that? Four. Right. Well, how many do I need? I would like one in the corridor, just by the stairs. And then one in the room with the tables to the left, and then one where the wood stove is. The bedroom is not so important. Don't really do anything important in there, just sleep. Let's turn safe mode on it, it is quite dark. What is lighting this little foyer area in the hospital? I don't understand. Yeah, so I think four is enough. Are you hungry again? I just... Well, I suppose it was a few hours. Yeah, I forget that taking things off cars actually takes time. You can't eat your crowbar. Son of a... No, it is the right letter. Oh, god damn it. Drop it, eat it, pick it up. <laughs> yeah, it will be nice when they actually fix that. But at the moment, it is a minor nuisance. I just forget how long it takes to... What? Ah... Uh, shrubs! <laughs> well, I'm, yeah, I mean a shrub stopping a shopping cart. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, this place is really hard to find in the dark. Well, I guess not when your car's there. What is that? What's lighting that? Why is my door glowing? That's really weird. Yeah, I only wish you could drag these down the stairs. I mean, it kind of makes sense that you can't. But, 
Yeah, it would be cool. So how much do these weigh? Well, they're not that heavy, really. Well, I can only carry two at once. Alright, did I drop one in here, did I? Yep. Start vehicle construction. There. Enter vehicle name. Light. There we go. And we can install something if I actually pick up my welder. Oh, it's batteries I need, because I have my welder. It's not reloaded. There we go. Install uh, headlights. I, actually, I want to take the. Wait, how do you? How do you install controls? I'm sure you just put them on a frame before. Do I actually need a seat now? Oh, there it is. Ah, level three in mechanics. Okay. Well, it won't take long to get there. No, not the aspirin. Might as well use this one that's on me now. Okay, install a headlight. Choose a facing direction for the new headlights. That way. That way. Up. Right. Okay. Direction is not happening. Yeah, I actually, I saw somebody asking about this on the forums. I think I'm going to have to go and check the thread really quickly. <laughs> okay, I think this is some kind of intermediary screen, so I just press escape to... You install a headlight. So, right, that just did it. Okay. Uh, Alright, where is my... Thingamy mechanics. Yeah, 91. So I think if I just grab another one of these frames and. Ugh, it's quite heavy. Yep. Just go install it in here. In a perpetually burning fire room. <laughs> Start vehicle construction. You cannot build there. Right. Um. Yeah, it's because of this rubble. Well, it's not that important, actually. See, I don't know. I think I'll build at this end of the corridor. Point the light the other way, I think. Enter your name, light. Your body strains under the weight. Yeah, yeah. Install the maps. Might actually, you want to grab one of these flashlights. There's so many of them. Yeah, I'll just drop that uh, gasoline flashlight on the table here, because it is just... Uh, it's pointless. Well, I've got this light strip anyway. It does about the same amount. Right, so now I've chosen a direction now. And so now... Okay. I, I have no idea. <laughs> Right, so, um, skill should be over 3 now, right? Oh, 99%. You son of a bitch. Okay, let's grab another one. Right, uh, yeah, we'll just put it over here by this wall. They do have quite a long range. So... Yeah. Just humming to myself. Sorry, I'm sorry. Right, headlight. Choose a new facing direction. This way. I think that that's right. Okay, now, if my mechanic skill isn't three, I shall scream. Yes, it is. So, do I have the controls in my inventory still? Or at all? Yes, I do. You know, I could drop this book here. I could probably drop it on the fire, actually, but... Yeah, I don't know. I, I, haven't, found, I haven't found a use for paper yet. So, when I do... 
Well, probably disassemble those books, but yeah. So now control where and turn on headlights and bada bing. I can't deactivate this light switch, uh, light strip even. So I'll drop it so we can see how that works. And yeah, it's uh, it's not great, <laughs> but it's it's enough to see the important parts of the room, I think. So. Yeah, I've got a bunch of frames there for no reason. Let's pick up the katana again. Um, where was this one? Install controls and turn on the lights. Whoops! And there we go. Lights up the stairs. We can come all the way over here and see that. Go grab some more controls. Yep. Do 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 do. Well, this is fun. Using, well, abusing the vehicle menus, really. <laughs> this isn't really what it's supposed to be used for. There we go, we can see this area which is currently not in use, really, but. Oh well. Right, uh, since I have one more vehicle controls, I might as well... Did I just confirm that or deny it? I might as well build another one over here somewhere. I guess in the bedroom, but... You don't want to have a permanent light in your bedroom, really, do you? So yeah, I'll put it here. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Install. Controls. Whoops. A little light. These are some big flashlights, though, I've got to say. You can use them as a headlight. They're obviously like those... Those ones you get in the gadget catalogs that have, like, three million candle power or something. Like, they actually... Where they actually boast that it causes retinal damage. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, yeah, I've seen those. Very, very silly. Why would you want that? <laughs> and there we go, sort of partially lit last man on earth shelter. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, if you if you haven't been down in one of these before and you couldn't see the layout from when I was walking around, that's that's what it looks like. There you go. You can see it finally. Yeah, now I just need a, a wood stove in every room so I can keep warm in the winter. That's probably overkill. I mean, I, it's relatively safe down here. As long as this door's closed, nothing's going to come down here. So, yeah, I don't really need to do that. I can just wear a bunch of encumbering and yet warm clothes. So I've still got just shitloads of flashlights for no reason. I could train my electronics skill with it. Because yeah, I do eventually want to install bionics, as always. But yeah, I do have an electronics book to read. So I've just realized it's 4 a.m. in game. <laughs> So I should probably get some sleep there. Du, du, du. And yeah, the great thing about these wristwatches is they actually have an alarm on them, so I can set my alarm to go off for of five hours, and of course he won't go to sleep. Let's just chug some NyQuil. I do that myself, occasionally. Drink the goddamn water, for Christ's sake. Set the alarm, there we go. Bleep, 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 bleep. I hate his alarm clocks. I mean, I'm quite happy to go to sleep and wake up just when I wake up. That just feels fine to me. 
But if an alarm goes off, I just feel like crap for the rest of the day, I swear to God. So yeah, let's do something fun after um after wandering around in the dark building frames. Du -du -du -du. I don't know. Let's just uh let's just explore beyond this town. Cause I haven't really done that way. Okay, we're still fumbling with the controls. Whoa, that's a moose. Splat. No oh, kitty. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> Just driving around at 50 miles per hour. And it's... Ah, oh, I didn't pick up my katana, did I? That's, uh... That's bad. I think I'm still carrying all my tools as well. Which is not great. So, I guess, um... Yeah, I guess I'll just wield the crowbar. It's really not a bad melee weapon. I mean, considering you can craft it, as soon as you start in the evac shelter. It's a pretty remarkably good weapon, so... It'll do. I'm probably not going to get into a fight. <laughs> Famous last words. Uh, trying to avoid these wreckages. Yeah, I mean, I can hit the ones with wheels, that's not too bad. But uh, the ones that don't have any wheels, you really don't want to hit them because they will launch you across the world at the speed of light. Let's crash through these shrubs. What, how, what building is that? Clothing store, right. Um, yeah, I was just debating whether it was better to kind of avoid the rest of these roads. Because I could have just driven around the north edge of town, really. But, um, whoa, okay. Ah, shit. Popped a tire. Bollocks. I'm always trashing vehicles now. It's just how it is. <laughs> Look at this! Little squirrel convention here. Splat, splat. Alright, well, it's looking like forest. Actually, I remember over this way somewhere is a fungal bloom. So it might not be such a good idea here. I do have a, a windscreen missing. What's that? A seat. Because, yeah, I, I'm just sick of getting the fungal disease. It happens far, far too often. This character in particular has had it three times. And luckily there's a, a spider web within walking distance. Not a spider web, uh, I watch him call it. Beehive concentrate. Yeah, so do I have an ID card for this? I don't think I do. I think that um uh, looks like you need a science ID card. Because that's instinctive. <laughs> Should be a sci uh, card reader, surely. Um, alright, well, we can... Can we drive around it? Is it not really. <laughs> uh, look at the state of this car. Bits missing, bits broken. Yeah, I'm just... Well, there's a few little trees. There's no way to get a real run-up. Ah, oh, screw it. Whoa! Oh, okay, I hit the wall. <laughs> ah, you know, that's really the second time that I've done that. I believe there's a turret inside there somewhere. Is it in this room? I mean, if it's not in the room, then... No, it's fine. Whoops! No, don't step into that. Dear God. Safety glasses, filter mask. That is useful, actually. I'll tell you that. So yeah, I, c I can explore these... Whoa, bollocks. <laughs> okay. 
Oh my god. I was just going to say, I can probably explore these rooms up here. Um, there is a peek command from the east you hear beep beep. So you can peek around corners. I can't remember what it is. Ah, there we go. So yeah, we can peek around the corner here. And uh, we can see a turret there. And uh, yeah, so of course I'm wearing a light strip as well. So... Yeah, that really should be a thing you can wear, shouldn't it? I mean, like, I see postmen wearing them in the morning. They can just kind of hang them off the collar so they can read the letters and stuff. Mm. Drink some water. So, oh fuck, it's shooting me from there. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, don't break into labs unless you've got some EMP grenades. I mean, I guess I could craft some of those. Alright, so this car is totaled. The engine's fine, it still has gas, but it needs the wheels replacing. Ah. Uh, <laughs> crap. Well, it's still 10 a.m., let's go, uh. What is that? Are they. Are they just spiked boards? Are there more traps around there? Uh, <laughs> I hate walking through these places. Carbon fiber arrows, wow. I'd be jumping on that if I was rolling archery. I'll grab that. That's oh, weird that they're all the same trap type. Alright, let's see what's along this road to the north. Dun -dun 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 Another lab. Great. Might as well walk up to it a little bit. So we have those binoculars. Yeah, there's a cabin in the woods over here, which I have not touched. Sometimes they have useful things in them. Usually just a few zombies, though. I wonder if those turrets actually deactivate if I use the ID card. Eh, uh, I don't know. Well, there's plenty of other labs. What is under there? No. So, we seem to have run into an ant hill. Ants aren't dangerous though. They're just ants. Step on them. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Ant me to death. And a swamp. Yay. Let's go run into that. Ugh. Yeah, when I was really new to the game, I did just sort of get trapped in swamps a good couple of times. Because there are sinkholes in there, unless you have a great big heavy coil of rope weighing down your inventory. You will uh, you will get trapped down there. So what's that? Nothing? That was a naked boomer coming at me. How disgusting. Unless his clothes got destroyed by the explosion. Glass jar? Yeah, I suppose they're fairly useful. Under armor? Yeah, it's not really that useful. So yeah, I will grab some seeds at this farm because I forgot to do it at the last one. Because I would like to try and get some farming on the go. Alright, let's clear the Zeds out from the wardrobe first. Wardrobe? Shed. Hello. I'd like to talk to you about Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Right. Well, there's some role playing ideas for you. Play as a Mormon. <laughs> you have to have at least half your inventory filled with uh, flyers at all times. Whoa. There's quite a few over there. You don't normally get this many. Uh. Farm? That's really strange, actually. 
You know, I don't have as many spikes as I once did. Whoops. But uh, it's okay because I'm doing a hell of a lot more damage than I used to is. Oh shit, I thought you were dead. Just about to start running into it then. Dog. Vitamins. Shattered military rucksack. Not quite sure how you shatter a rucksack, but there you go. Are there even any seeds? There are some blueberry seeds. That's not great, really. <laughs> oh well. Let's grab some of this food anyway. Withered plant, broccoli. Yeah, you'd kind of need, um. You kind of need fertilizer, I think, to make things grow in any kind of a decent time. Look at all these spiders and ants and crap around here. Jesus Christ. But yeah, I have not seen fertilizer anywhere in the game. I don't know if it's a crafting thing. I mean, I would imagine that it would be under chems, maybe? Food? I don't know. Right, let's get down here and use luck again. Right, wheat seeds over there, blueberry seeds over there. So, yep. Grab those. It's four of those, very nice. With a plant. That was this one, wasn't it? Wheat seeds, move over this way a bit. Because, yeah, this does not actually show you everything around you, or everything you can see. There was an ant there. I thought that was one of the plant tiles. I do have trouble seeing blue on black. I'm sure I've mentioned that. Let's kill it. Bloody hell. They're a bit tough, these, aren't they, actually? And of course, they get about a million hits. Alright, let's try one of these bee stings. See if that does a bit more damage. Yep. There we go. Wow, that was, um... They were tougher than I thought. I mean, those worker ants, like the normal brown ones, are just easy as pie to kill, really. You should be able to plant raw potatoes, I think. Yeah, I have grown potatoes myself. Very easy to grow, you just dig a, a huge pit, uh, throw the potatoes in it, and bury the potatoes, and wait, <laughs> basically. Whoops, need to eat that. Oh my god, seriously? Well, what the hell bloody letter is it? <laughs> it's N. You drink your clean water. Alright, what have we got here? Is that a mine? Yeah, there's not going to be anything interesting here. I mean, they're fairly interesting locations to go exploring down in. Is that a shopping cart there? Alright, no engine. But other than that, I can't really say that they're very interesting once you get down there. I mean, in terms of loot. Yeah, I mean, there's a console there to test your stuff on. Right, use the crowbar to get in here. Yeah, see, you get rocks, coal pallet, I mean. Yeah, I'm not even sure what you would do with that. Nothing, I guess. Well, I might as well grab this shopping cart if it works. Yeah, it does. Because it is actually just a mobile uh, melee obstacle. <laughs> right. What time is it? It's about one o'clock. Whoops. 
Let's just follow this road down a little bit. All the while with this bloody dog following me. Jumping spider. You know, I would probably just... Oh, did I just find a town? Oh, it's another farm. Cool. Yeah, I would probably commit suicide if the apocalypse included giant insects. I'm sorry. <laughs> just, yeah. It's one of the reasons I'm grateful that this is ASCII. It's, uh, graphics. Yeah, no engine. Although, actually, I've still got all my equipment on me here, so let's kill this zombie. Did I see a zombie there? Zombie dog. Where are they? Oh, there they are. I'm paying attention. Not the squirrel. Yeah. Oh, it was the dog, actually. Oh, well. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, yeah, I'm actually hitting the skeleton. You can't really hit them with... Um, bow and arrow, because they sort of deflect the shot off their bones or something, I guess, but, yeah. Oh, there's so many zombies here, what the hell? Did they increase the amount of zombies that spawn their farms? Because this is just rather a lot. Right, let's, uh, yeah, I'll butcher these corpses first. And then I'll go clear out the shed. I don't know why there's zombies in the shed every time. I guess they just hid out there when the cataclysm hit, and so they remained. Right, that was the skeleton. Doesn't leave a corpse. Doesn't leave bones either. A Mac 10 nail gun. Already got a nail gun. I have about three of them actually. What's in here then? What's that blue thing? A metal working chisel. Hmm. Well, they don't do much damage. I was thinking maybe they would be a decent throwing weapon. So there's a boom. Broom? Boom. Right. Grab that, see if there's anything in these lockers. Uh, there is. A solar cell. Right, grab those. Oh, they are heavy. 14 kilograms. Yeah, my granddad used to have a hand press and die set. It didn't, well, I don't know. It was specifically for shotgun shells, I think. Um, well, he had a shotgun. But, yeah, it didn't require batteries, so... Actually, can I wear those? No, not really. Why are the windows all smashed up? Oh, there we go. I was just going to hit the window. Eh, just hit it. There they come. Come on, step on the shopping cart. Oh, I'm really not doing that much damage there, am I? Yeah, I just thought I would uh, use a bit of melee for a change. MP3 player. Very nice shotgun there, but again, I'm not really using firearms. I'll grab that string. Might as well. And I'll grab the string that's here. So is there anything in this house that I can see through the window? Alright, it's one of my spikes. So I'm going to bash that bloody door down because they half broke it. Pickle, can of beer. Why did you smash the fridge, you vandals? Let's just eat the pickle. Om nom nom nom. So, what have we got here? Macaroni, another flashlight. Okay, 
So let's just have a oh can't get the shopping cart to go through barbed wire. What? I can get through there. Fine. <laughs> Remove the fence. What? So I can't go over the dirt mound either. So I've got to go round. Ah. What a kerfuffle. Oh, well, that's fenced off as well. Let's go through the barn. Ah, crap. Didn't see that. Brown on brown. It's not the best colour scheme. Right. Come out here. Do we see any seeds? Strawberry seeds. And, yep, yeah, that's it. Grab those, move down. Some more blueberry seeds and some more wheat seeds. Right. Our farming operation will be underway soon enough. I hope it doesn't take... Ah, I'm carrying too many items. Wow, I haven't seen that for a while. Alright. Just eat a carrot. Yeah, force myself to eat it. That's crazy. So yeah, I've reached the 75 item limit here. Why am I dragging this bloody shopping cart around? I put nothing in it. Yeah, so da, da, da. let's remove the engine from this car. Install it in the other one. Should be within reach. I can repair it. Level 4 in mechanics. A wrench and a V6 engine too. Well... Oops. Well, can't I just remove the broken engine? And then install... The new engine. Well, I still need level 4 in mechanics. Well, where am I in mechanics? Because I could probably just take some drugs and just take a bunch of parts off one of these cars. It's getting pretty late, though. But we'll try it. We'll take some Adderall, which I'm probably addicted to at this point. But, um, yeah, take some cigarettes. And just start... Removing junk off this car, I think. And that should get our skill up pretty damn quickly. And yeah, good job I didn't want to use this car, right? Gotta watch out for that wolf and that cougar. Take the wheels off. Ooh, what is that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, crap. So, what did I say? It's alright, though. I one-shotted it. What is that over there? Oh, it's a deer. Yeah, they just make a lot of noise. So, where is my mechanic skill now? It is at four. Excellent. I can install the engine. And it has... Uh, Ah, I'm bleeding. Right, that's that's an urgent issue. Use the bandages. Stop the bleeding. I'm very hungry and very thirsty as well. Oh, for Christ's sake! I just can't make its mind up about what bloody key the water is on. Okay, install the engine. There we go. It does have gas, doesn't it? Yeah, only the tiniest amount. Which could be a problem. Well, if I can get down onto this road, there is a gas station there, at least. And it's a pretty small town over there, so... Yep, lugging this shopping cart around. Now I have to leave it behind. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, how do I get around the other side of this farm? Oh shit, yeah, there's a thing there. 
yeah, just kind of demolishing the shopping cart there. Why? Oh my god. Sorry, I just created a, a big long strip of mounds of dirt there. So I'm going to try and drive down here without hitting a tree. Oh, bloody reverse. Just turns off cruise control all the time. Come on. Back up. Bloody hell. Takes a long time to reverse, I'll tell you that. Right, yeah, shrubs, we can crash through. Trees, not so much. Does this have working headlights? I will find out as it gets darker. Uh, yeah, that's a deer, right. Yes, it does have working headlights. Are you kidding me? I was going 50 fucking miles per hour. Yeah, I guess I think the deer slowed us down and then the shrub stopped us. God damn it. Uh, squirrel Geddon. Yeah, so I'm really running on fumes here. I'm just desperately hoping that I can get to the gas station before. Oh, that's a building. What kind of building is that? Despite the fact that I'm right next to it, it hasn't, uh... Oh, this is another science lab. It hasn't marked it. The <laughs> one tile? Unexplored. What? You crazy. Oh, it's getting dark now. Right. I'm probably going to slow down here. I'm on the road. So, I'm not going to hit shrubs, but I might hit cars if I'm going too fast. Ah, oh, just out of gas. But we're right next to the gas station, so that's alright. We should have a few zombies to contend with here, but no big deal. Unless one of them's a smoker, of course. Oh shit. You know, I didn't mark where I parked that thing, actually. <laughs> yeah. What? So I'm just mashing the keys. You fill your plastic bottle, yes. We'll get a couple of them. The raw potato won't hold gasoline. Uh, what key are the bottles? They are that. Drop the bloody potatoes. There we go. You're carrying too many items. I was just carrying them. Oh, but it had the same letter, didn't it? Ah, uh, well... Let's just eat some corn. There we go. What is this behind me? I thought so. Okay. Don't think I got uh, a bite wound there. Yeah, I did not mark where I parked that uh, truck. Uh, well, I do have a couple of flashlights. There we go. Because, yeah, that would be embarrassing. Oh, the headlights are on anyway. It's fine. Right. Let's fill up gasoline. Let's fill a good tank. That's just a little compulsion of mine. Because I feel like, you know, the the bad tank would probably explode quicker. As far as I can tell, the damage to parts is pretty random. Like when you hit something, the part that uh, hits 
absorbs like most of the damage, but then any damage that isn't absorbed by it is passed on to other parts. And it's kind of random how it does it, I'm fairly certain. Let's try and get around this wreckage. Ooh, narrowly avoided it. There's something following me here, and I'm guessing by the speed that it's not a zombie. Well, I could be wrong. Yeah. Ah, poison. Just hit it. <laughs> yeah, what does this poison do? Yeah, it just does that for a while, which is pretty bad. Refill vehicle, yep. Ugh. There we go, 100%. Right, so in this episode I have installed lights in my shelter, and trashed yet another vehicle, and got yet another vehicle. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's a good place to call in a day. So thank you for watching, hope you join me in the next part. I'll see you later.